Hello everybody and welcome to a new video from Joggler66 Hour of the Truth. This one is called Teaser for a new book reading. As you know when you follow my channel lately uh, I have read last year the book Rulers of Evil by F. Tupper Saucy and also I read and just finished the reading of Ralph Woodrow's Babylon Mystery Religion. Two very interesting books, in my personal opinion. I've learned a lot by reading and discussing them. And when I was reading Rulers of Evil, I thought there would be a very nice book to put up next, after the reading of Rulers of Evil, a book which is uh, not that commonly known uh, to most people. But it is a very, very interesting book, and it also goes into the revelation of a, uh, how is it called, a factual analysis and of the relationship of Nazi fascism and Roman Catholicism. And we have learned by reading Rulers of Evil that Roman Catholicism and Nazi fascism are more or less the same and we can also read that of course in this uh, publication the Jesuits put out themselves. The, um, it's called Civilta Catholica. Uh, that's the house organ of the Jesuits. And in there we find a quote that reads, Fascism is the regime that corresponds most closely to the concepts of the Church of Rome. So we have learned in Rulers of Evil that the Church of Rome founded the government of the United States in 1776 we have found that the fasci, the Roman Catholic uh, symbol of power, is to be found in the Congress. You always saw that when you watch videos of the Congress, you saw that when Pope Francis, the Antichrist, was there last year on the joint session of Congress. So there is absolutely no secret about that. So we have to learn a little bit more about fascism and the connection with Roman Catholicism. So the book that I'm going to read now is the book Behind the Dictators from J. H. Lehman. Yeah. He, uh, L. H. Lehman, sorry. He wrote this book in 1942 and um, this is from the third printing in March 1945 that it comes from. But who was Leo Herbert Lehman? He was a Roman Catholic priest who converted to Biblical Christianity later in his life. He lived from 1895 to 1950. So that means that he died eight years after writing this great book of a Jesuit exposure. I could not find anything concerning his death or the circumstances of his death, but I find it interesting the least that he died that short a time after publishing the book. Of course, I will provide the download link for the book in the description box of the video. And that is to be found on the website arcticbeacon.com. And you can look that up for yourself. You can read along. And I will just put chapter after chapter uh, in this book. It's, a, it's, it's not a very long book, you have to understand. And to make you a little bit familiar what the book is all about, I'm going to read a... A review of this book from James Flory and uh, he and puts a little bit together in a few sentences what this book is all about and that's what this teaser video is all about to get you interested in whether reading the book for yourself or follow my reading when I upload this on my YouTube channel uh, shortly after I uh, uploaded all the videos concerning Babylon Mystery Religion because there are still a few to be uploaded. The chapters 20 and 21 and of course the um, weak recantation that Ralph Woodrow did of that book. So still three videos to come on that. But after that I will start uploading my reading of Behind the Dictators by L. H. Lehman. Leo Herbert Lehman. So what does Mr. Flory say in the little summary of this book? This book is surprisingly short, and yet it is one of the most monumental works I have ever read. Published during World War II, so that there is infused a palpable, first-hand immediacy 
to the, no, to the now historical events being described, it concisely unmasks the true origins of fascism and Nazism and reveals the real string-pulling source for which both Mussolini and Hitler and all the other fascist dictator puppets of the 20th century owe their respective ascendancies to power and hence their ultimate allegiance. Dots are connected in this book that shockingly clarify the origin of both world wars. For the first time many of Hitler's and Mussolini's more enigmatic and inexplicable actions are no longer a mystery whatsoever. It all makes harrowing inescapable sense the way Lehman, an ex-priest converted to scriptural faith in Jesus Christ, breaks it down. His observations and conclusions he draws from the, uh, from them are monstrously staggering in their implications. I may have to find some way to wedge this into my top 10 of uh, most important books of all time list. It is that significant. And uh, the ancient adage, all roads lead to Rome, has perhaps never been more truly revealed. And as I've already announced, in the future I will read the book All Roads Lead to Rome from Michael Dissemlian, also a book that covers the same subject as Rulers of Evil and as Behind the Dictators, again within the same line, to really make the point to people that the Bible and the Bible alone is the only true word of God and we are now living in the kingdom of the Antichrist and there is only one way out of it and that is Jesus Christ. Only by reading, understanding and believing the Bible, the true word of God, we find our way to Jesus Christ who is the only mediator between man and God because there is no other name given under heaven among men by which we must be saved, the name Jesus Christ. But returning to the little summary of the book. Seriously, it's surreal to try to ponder what this means. It means everything on the Hitler or History Channel, <laughs> because they twist the truth as they like to, so to call the History Channel a Hitlery Channel, I absolutely agree with. Everything in any mainstream big publishing house historical book that claims to offer a rendition of the causes of events in the 20th century is all bunkum. It's all a red herring, a distraction from the real truth. It's all baloney, all of it. And if you doubt that, I want you to go back to chapter 9 of Rulers of Evil, where I explain to you Miranda Prosos and Inter Mirifica, where the Roman Catholic Church says it is their birthright to own all social media, all publishing media, newspapers, radio, movies, and everything else. It is their birthright. You can read that in Intermediate on the Roman Catholic website itself. And that's why all this history, or Hitlery as he calls it, everything in any mainstream big publishing house historical is all bunkum. It's all baloney. All of it. Because it all comes from the mouth of the Antichrist of the Bible. It's not about Hitler or Mussolini or whatever they did, whatever they wanted. It's not about the Nazis or fascism. It's about the Vatican, stupid. That geopolitical entity hiding for millennia behind a religion and yes, hiding behind the dictators. And those rising tides of dump-headed, brown-shirted, Jew-hating American patriots today can stop serving their Roman master now, if they would just stop their moronic mouth foaming for a moment and actually read these and other irrefutable historical facts with an open mind. Yeah, right, like that's ever going to happen.
At any rate, Lehman destroys the mythology behind the vaunted quote-unquote protocols of the learned elders of Zion for them, demonstrating their authorship to be Jesuitical, not Zionistical. Not Jewish, I have to admit, I have to add here, because Zionistical is even not the right term, because the biggest Zionist in the world is the Pope. To be sure, Lehman isn't the only author who demonstrated this, but he is definitely one of the more compelling at having done so. Lehman compares the malignant presence of and un uh, an unperceiving acceptance of Romanism in the United States to a gigantic, metaphorical Trojan horse, the most fantastically menacing Trojan horse that could have ever been brought into any republic or democracy. He was right. And like so many shrieking, siren-sounding Cassandras from decades and decades ago in America and in Europe that you also have never heard about, Lehman's stuff is likewise out of print, suppressed, ignored, and all but completely forgotten now. When it happens here, in America, and it seems pretty damn close now, certainly in 2016, one thing is certain. We will have got what's coming to us. And not only in the United States of America, let me assure you this, before you say again, like when I read, read Rulers of Evil, I had some comments, I'm bashing America. No, I'm bashing the Roman Catholic Church. And you have to understand that the Roman Catholic Church, as Tom Fress wonderfully pointed out in his readings, of the global Vatican is ruling America. And the quote from the bishop in 1903 in the Chicago Tribune when he stated when America rules the world, when the United States of America rules the world, the Roman Catholic Church rules the world. And when you know where the Roman Catholic Church comes from, there is a link to go to Babylon mystery religion, then you know that the Antichrist the devil himself rules this world. And that's also said in the Bible, because Satan is the god of this world. The god of creation, the god of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob still has his her protective hands above all of us. But the moment when he retracts that and men is completely left to himself, under the guise of Satan, then all hell will break loose. And we have books like Rulers of Evil, Babylon Mystery Religion, Behind the Dictators, and so, so, so many more books to prove that we are living in the times of the Antichrist, the papacy, the biblical, historical, and prophetic antichrist of the Bible. And he says when it happens here, and he refers to the United States of America, and I will also even expand that to the whole world, surely the European Union where I am living in, it seems pretty damn close, one thing is certain, we will have got what's coming to us, because we were not listening to the watchmen, because we were not educated in the Bible, in the Word of God, where he tells us everything in forehand. Bible prophecy is history written in advance, and it is to us to communicate with our God through his preserved word, the King James 1611 authorized version of the Bible, where he tells us everything, what happened, what's happening, and what's going to happen. It's on us to accept it, and to accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, and to make sure that Satan will not get us, and to make sure that we can get eternal life through Christ Jesus. So, this was my teaser for 
Behind the Dictators by Leo Herbert Lehman and I hope you will come back to my channel and enjoy the readings that I do of this book which actually is like he said quite short it only has 12 chapters and a little appendix, appendix behind it and within a very short time I will start reading the first chapter called Jesuits, Jews and Freemasons and what links them all together. Very interesting, I can assure you. But for now, this teaser I hope made his point and we can come back together for the reading of the book Behind the Dictators from Leo Herbert Lehman. So, thank you very much for your attention, for watching, for spreading the news and until next time, God bless you all. Jogla66 from Hour of the Truth, signing off. God bless you and bye-bye.